Hi, welcome to the future. It sucks. Yeah, that's right. I'm doing a fucking video about NFTs, all right? It's it's time. I've been busy. I don't have internet access. I didn't hear about it until now. I'm not going to try to explain to you what NFTs are. There's already plenty of videos on the internet that have done a way better job than I could or care to do. But all you need to know is that it's basically an internet image that you can pay money for. Why would you do that? Exactly. That's why everyone thinks they're stupid. Not to mention how bad they are for the environment, how there are Twitter bots that just steal art from artists that don't do NFTs only to sell that art as an NFT, and other great things that I'm sure you've already heard about. Now, NFTs have actually been around for a few years, but only this year have they actually come into the mainstream. And more people are talking about them now than ever before, but believe it or not, NFTs have already had a fall off and a comeback just this year alone. I remember hearing about NFTs back in like the spring of this year, only for them to be bullied off the internet for a while, and then they came back strong all of a sudden in like August, and now Jimmy Fallon has one. It's not just the fact that NFTs are more popular than ever, but it's that all of the sudden, multiple different media outlets started coming out in support of NFTs, or at least a poorly veiled support. After the initial fall off that NFTs had, all of a sudden these articles started getting published like, NFTs are bigger than ever, and NFTs are the future, all from mainstream media sources. It doesn't smell right to me. There's something about it that doesn't feel good. It's like we're being gaslit into thinking that NFTs are actually super cool and popular and that all the cool kids are doing them, rather than corporations just being motivated by the ability to really easily hide money or money launder with them. And so they want to make them as normal as possible, and all these fucking moronic Twitter users keep believing it. Mainstream media basically single-handedly kicked off this new wave of NFTs, and now we have all these, like, conglomerates of NFTs. It's like, these are all the ape ones that all look the same but you can change the accessories on them and these are all the lion ones that you can have but they all look the same and they all look like shit. There are some NFTs that are animated, there are NFTs that are 3D, and there are NFTs that don't look like garbage. But trust me, these are few and far between. NFTs and cryptocurrency have a lot of the same problems in my eyes. They all operate on this libertarian idea of like a decentralized, unregulated economy. Which if you're a leftist, you should know how dangerous that is. What, you want to abolish the idea of money? Like yeah, in a utopian communist society there would be no currency, but like this is not the way to do it. Yeah, let's just have all our money be on the honor system. That sounds good. And on top of that, every cryptocurrency has like the most schemey, like scummy fucking con man energy to it. Have you ever looked at like a crypto hashtag on Twitter? It's like the most fucking bizarre, like it feels like everyone there is a bot. It's really gross. And because crypto has no like regulation to it, it's a really easy way to money launder. And you could say the same thing about regular art, right? But at least like when you buy art, you have the painting. An NFT is nothing. You have a digital certificate that says you own this random image on the internet, which is kind of counterintuitive to everything we know about the internet right now. It really seems like something that would have come out in like 1996 when people didn't know what the internet was. Images on the internet are infinitely reproducible and you can upscale them with AI, so even if the NFT is the only way to get a high resolution version of the image, it kind of doesn't really matter. Plus, how high of a resolution do you really want this? And now EA wants to do some kind of fucking NFT video game? What does that mean, dude? Does that mean you have to pay money to be able to access the video game? That's just how it works already! <laughs> Alright, so I'm talking a lot of shit about NFTs, right? They're stupid. If you disagree with me, go ahead and leave a dislike. Everyone will see it. So I figure we might as well go to OpenSea to look at some of them. So let's just go ahead and go to the top. So the top community on OpenSea are CryptoPunks, which are those really annoying, like, shitty pixel art ones that you see on profile pictures all the time. <sighs> okay. So CryptoPunk9024. How much is 26 and a half Ethereum in dollars? That would be $105,615.69. Oh, no. How is it that there's so many people that think this is like some kind of working class, like bottom up revolution? Not only are crypto and NFTs both really inaccessible to learn about for normal people, even myself, but even if I knew everything there is to know, I can't come up with fucking 26 Ethereum, which is over a hundred thousand dollars. A lot of people have compared these profile picture NFTs to like Neopets or any of those flash games where you had like a base model that you would kind of dress up in whatever extra parts you wanted. Which yeah, these things have less variety than the Miis I made when I was 13. 
13 on my 3DS. Let's look at Board Ape Yacht Club, the NFT community that Jimmy Fallon joined. So as you can see with the Board Ape Yacht Club, they're all really, really ugly. But the thing that bothers me the most is not just how ugly or unoriginal they are, but how they kind of adopt this 90s, early 2000s grungy style. Like grunge was only ever popular in the aftermath of Reagan era economic policy, in the aftermath of tons of Republican deregulation, something that a lot of fucking crypto weirdos weirdly advocate for, the middle class was shrinking and shriveling and dying to the point where it's almost non-existent today. And so in the face of conservative policies, not just in an economic sense, but also in a cultural sense with the war on drugs, the war on crime, more conservative Christian values being emphasized by the presidency, there was a cultural rebellion in the form of grunge. That's kind of fucking sick. But this is not that. It's the opposite of that. Ronald Reagan would love this. He would be a huge advocate for fucking deregulated currency. Are you fucking kidding me? And almost exclusively because it is a great way for people with a lot of fucking money to make a lot more. That's the worst thing about NFTs, is that they're not an artistic expression for the sake of art. All art is inherently political. If you disagree with me, I'm sorry you don't know anything about politics, history, or art. Leave a dislike, everyone will see it. But NFTs from almost every tangible angle, economic, artistic, political, they're just wrong. They're counter to almost everything I believe in and advocate for as a leftist. And as someone who just loves art. Like I said, artists have to be paid somehow under our current system. We don't reward artists for making good art, we reward artists for making marketable art. But this isn't just commodification of art, this is commodification of the concept of owning art, which is inherently kind of a fucking scam. Like this? Pay me $500 and you can have this. Like I'm not gonna send it to you, you, you could take a picture of it. And now you have it, but it's like still, you know, anybody could have it, but you just paid for it. So good job. All in all, I think NFTs are terrible, not just for the environment, but for art in general and for the future of currency. But it's hard to blame the individual people, the normal working class people who get really caught up in it because it is really just a scam for people with hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of disposable income to double and triple that without a shred of the investment that some of these people on Twitter put into it. NFTs will not make you rich. They won't even make you richer. If you're extremely lucky, you might make some money, but is it really worth it? Thank you so much for watching my video. Please click like if you had a good time. You can go ahead and press subscribe for more videos just like this every single week. And now I'm gonna shout out my patrons on Patreon. If you wanna get a shout out at the end of a video, please uh, go ahead and do donate to my Patreon. It's only $5 a month and you get cool extra content. You get videos a little bit early sometimes. You get trailers for videos a day early. You get, you get to see the thumbnail early. You get to vote on stuff. It's a cool place. It's a cool time, all right? Listen. Shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Cured Meat, Grant Schwabacher, Emmy Like the Award, Captain AML, Pancake Batter, Hatun Alamari, Iki, Lori Pilt, Comrade Sadboy, Joel Caven, Grace Nordenson, Nick Vangelados, Nebulosity, Lertz, Buttonstuck, Rodney Case, Binary Fate, Natalie Falls, Charlie Poo, Jan Ramsey, SK, Kurzistoff S, Catherine S. Bell, Anya Kaiser, L. Autumn, Bubble T, Brennan, Zitrilby, Graham, Janet Holmes, Liz Johnson, Spangler, Fizzlefer, Len, Ro Ramden, and Brina Rice. Thank you all so much for supporting me. You guys are epic and cool, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.